Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I'm noticing in every single video, I feel like there is a delay because the little camera thing has like an X through it and it takes a couple seconds for that to go away. But when I watch the footage back, it like, I think it starts recording as soon as I hit the button. I don't know. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great week. I've had a good week. We have had a ton of rain this week and it's been really cold and I've been loving it and just eating it up. Um, also this week, uh, Stella got her ears pierced, which is super exciting. So many of you have been around since I was pregnant with Stella, which is crazy because that was like eight years ago now. Um, so it's just kind of fun to be able to share stuff like this with you guys because she's seven now and such a big little lady. It just kind of freaks me out how fast she's growing and we just got her school pictures back and I was comparing last night when I was laying in bed last year's pictures to this year's picture and she's just changing so much. Like each year when I get her picture I compare it to the previous year and I'm like oh she had such a baby face back then. Um, and now she looks so mature, but what's crazy is next year, I'm gonna look at this year's picture and be like, she had such a baby face, <laughs> but she really is starting to like become like a little girl, you know, like she's a no longer like a baby in any kind of way, which is freaking me out. Anyway, sorry, I digress. I obviously have beauty things to share with you guys, which is why you're here. So let's get into it. I don't even know where to start. I have so many fun things. Um, I'm going to start with, um, someone had actually asked me to do a, like, um, fall and winter perfume video, um, and I do have a perfume video that I'm working on, but it's going to be, like, my favorite, like, gourmand vanilla perfumes, um, but I feel like vanilla is a great scent for this time of year because it's just warm and cozy. But anyway, here's a suggestion that's not a vanilla that is amazing for this type of year. Um, you've heard me mention this before. It is the Bastide Ombre Marquis. Now this is just an eau de toilette. Look at that beautiful bottle. Oh, I just, I love simple bottles. I love ridiculous perfume bottles and I love simple perfume bottles. Like, I just, it's so funny how you can love both the gaudy things in life as well as just the very simple things in life. Um, I am a woman of many extremes. But anyway, Ombre Marquis is actually, I think it's a unisex fragrance. Um, it is a very heavy amber scent. If you don't like amber, don't get this. If you don't like scents that are more on the slightly like masculine side, don't get this. But if you like warm, inviting, cozy, amber scents that just make you want to like cuddle up on the couch, like this is your scent. And I, I mentioned the eau de toilette part because most people when they see this are like, I'm going to pass over that because I want the eau de parfum. You guys, this stays put on me and this like gets reactivated like during the day as my body temperature goes up. So when I wear this, if I put it on in the morning and then I go to the gym at noon and I do like my cardio, oh my gosh, like I actually sometimes feel bad for the people on the treadmill next to me because I feel like the scent just like warms up and it's like perfume explosion. <laughs> and I don't wanna be that butthead at the gym, but I think that I am when I wear this. And well, at least I smell good, right? Anyway, if you don't have this and you like amber scents, you should try this. It's gorgeous. Okay. I This should be like hair care favorites, Friday favorites and flops because I have so many things. I have like four things that I want to share with you guys in terms of like hair care favorites. And we'll leave makeup for last. And I have a fashion item to share with you guys. I know. I never do that on my channel. I am not, I am not someone who is a slave to fashion in any kind of way. Most of my clothes, honestly, come from Costco or Target. That's just the stage of life that I'm in. Um, it's a great stage, it's very comfortable. <laughs> anyway, okay, so Olaplex number three. I did a treatment this week and I just remembered, God, I love this stuff. It makes my hair so soft. So I did the treatment a couple days ago and it's, ah, I just love it. I love the way this makes my hair feel. It 
um, makes it feel really hydrated, smoothed, not weighed down. It actually makes it really easy for me to get body in my hair with styling products, and I'll show you my favorites next. Um, it just makes my hair look healthier. My gray hair is, um, it's actually trickier than when I used to bleach and dye my hair blonde. Like, it, it was less dry then <laughs> than it is now. And I think a gray hair is just a lot more porous. It just is, it's just prone to drying out easier. And so I try to use products that are very hydrating and protect the hair, like when I'm blow drying and things like that. And this is one of the things that um, just does a great job of helping with my gray hair. Um, there is a very specific way to use this product. I mentioned that when I shared this in my haul the other day. Um, make sure that you research it. Your hair does need to be clean, like it needs to not have a bunch of product in it. So you might have to shampoo before using this. Your hair needs to be wet in order for this to even be activated. Like you can't put this in dry hair and expect it to do anything. You need to leave it in for at least 10 minutes. I feel like the longer, the better with this. Um, and I only did it for like 10 minutes because I put it in at the start of my shower and then I shaved my legs and you know, did all of this like exfoliating stuff. Um, but it's better if you can leave it in longer. So this is a good like weekend type treatment. Anyway, it's good. If you've never tried it, I highly, highly recommend it. Other hair things. Mm, my beloved Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam. Okay, uh, I'm a 90s girl. I was in like middle school and high school in the 90s. And oh man, I used mousse like it was going out of style. I actually probably started in the 80s. Um, but this just, mousse is what gives body to my hair. And I don't just put it at my roots. I put it kind of like to here. I try to avoid the ends because once again, you're just potentially going to dry things out. Um, the more crap you put in your chip, in your hair. Um, but this just does such an amazing job of giving oomph to my hair. And I ran out of it like earlier this month and I was like, Oh, I have to have it. So I went to Ulta and Ulta is doing their hair event this month and Paul Mitchell stuff is buy two, get one free. So anyway, this was in my haul. It's amazing. I just, I love it. And I'm just glad that it is back in my hair because that is where it belongs. Also pick this up during that Ulta hair event that they're having. It's the AG Hair Care Big Wig Root Volumizer. Uh, this is really good. So today I paired this with this and like I have my hair feels really thick today and you guys know that I don't have thick hair like I have like eight strands of hair that I try to make substantial looking <laughs> this is amazing um it's one of those ones where you spray it directly at the root it's got that very pin pointy root applicator there um I just kind of like spray this into different sections of my hair, make sure I get the back and stuff. And then I just like rub it all around my scalp essentially. And then I blow dry my hair upside down. And man, this gives some lift. This is good stuff. I go on kicks where I'm like, yeah, I'm not really super interested in hair stuff, but right now I am super interested in trying all of the volumizing products. Um, and this one is fantastic. I highly recommend it. AG Hair Care is, they're based out of Canada, I think. Not that it matters, but they are cruelty free. They uh, don't have any gluten, parabens, or PABA in their products. So if that's important to you, check out AG Hair Care. Um, Paul Mitchell is obviously also cruelty free. I think they were actually one of the first hair care lines that were like big on being cruelty free. Okay, flexible hold maximum volume uh, hairspray. <laughs> it's actually called the Extra Body uh, Finishing Spray. It's from the same line as the mousse, as you can tell by the purple. Uh, this is good, you guys. Now it's a little heavy when it comes out, but it's kind of cool, because like you think, oh, my hair is gonna be kind of gross and crunchy, but you let it dry, and then you brush through it, and oh man, it like, there, you can see, like it's kind of like a heavy, heavier spray, but oh dang, like it provides, oh geez, see there goes my, thin hair being fluffy um it provides like some extra grip to my hair some extra oomph um you can definitely use it to keep your hair in place like if you're doing a style this is obviously not a style here I don't do my hair per se but this is a great hairspray if you've never tried this I would highly recommend it I like Paul Mitchell 
Paul Mitchell was what I wanted my mom to buy for me when I was in middle school because she was super cheap about hair care. <laughs> and she always was like, nope, you can have suave. So I was a suave girl. Anyway, good hair stuff there. Skincare item I wanted to talk about. So I've been using the Galactomyces, I believe I'm saying that right, uh, Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence from um, uh, COSRX. And I'm really liking this. I don't have any like super obvious thoughts to share with you guys quite yet, but I'm really enjoying it in terms of it being a really nice lightweight hydrator to my skin in the morning. I've been using more and more hydrating products in my morning skincare routine. Um, normally I try to just stick to like one, but I've been layering a lot of things lately and I'm liking the way that my skin is looking even better throughout the day. Um, so essences are a great thing for me because I have really oily skin, so I can't use a lot of heavy, like occlusive moisturizers during the day. I will use those at night, but during the day, I got to try to keep it lighter. And this has been fantastic for that. Also, COSRX just came out with this new propolis essence toning product. I saw it on Instagram and was like, oh, I really want that. Um, right now, I don't think it's available like in the U.S. quite yet. Um, I think it's... Like I could order it from the COSRX website, but I was looking at the shipping and it was almost as much as the toner. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait until it gets here, but I'm dying to get my hands on that. It just looks delightful. It looks like you are just pouring honey on your face, it, but it's not sticky or anything like that. Um, but it's made with propolis. Um, if any of you guys have picked it up, do you like it? I'm I just, I'm dying to try it. I'm dying to try it. So anyway, all right, let's do some makeup. Um, my blush this week, I've been using the Soft Matte Baked Blush in Romantic Rose from Paula's, not Paula's Choice, from Laura Geller. <laughs> um, so this is just a nice uh, rosy shade. That, that is a crazy heavy swatch. Obviously, I'm wearing this today, and clearly this is not how you apply it. But here, let's kind of. There we go. See, it's just a really pretty rosy shade, and um, once you blend it out, it's just like, it's just nice. Look, I mean, I like this a lot. I like it a whole lot. So um, if you don't have this, this is one of her newer baked matte blushes. Um, definitely, definitely recommend. Lips this week, okay. So I have a couple things. I have what I'm wearing now, which I wanted to share with you guys because it comes in a great little set. And this duo right here, I feel like I've probably done this before, but I always forget how much I love this combination. So it's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which I'm using so much. Um, and you can either use the Matte Revolution version or this, what are these called? The Superstar, Super Bling, or the skinny version. <laughs> The more balmy version of uh, Pillow Talk because it's the same color. Come on up. Same color, but <clears throat> excuse me, different formula. So you can see this one is much more like a balm, whereas this is like a matte lipstick. But um, anyway, whichever one you have. Um, and there's also this really great mini for the holidays from Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe I'll link that down below because it comes with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in what is, I'm sure, a mini size. But that's plenty of lipstick, trust me. And then it also comes with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheat, I think, in Pillow Talk. Um, but anyway, pairing this with this Buxom Full On Lip Cream, oh, amazing. Uh, Blushing Margarita, so pretty. It's a full on lip cream, it's a nude. Um, here we go, you can see it a little bit better on there. It's just a rosy nude. It's so pretty, you guys, if you don't have this, and you love these Buxom uh, either lip polishes or full-on lip creams, add this one to your collection. This one has a ridiculous little diamond on the top because this was from like a limited edition collection. But um, yeah, you can get this <laughs> without this on top. I don't know, I kind of love it. Stella loves this one. She's like, when you finish that, can I have that wand? And I'm like, mm, no. Um, okay, eyeshadow. So I went and bought some stuff from Sydney Grace, which is like an indie brand. Um, I found them on Instagram originally, and then I started looking up some YouTube videos, and there's some YouTubers that have shown reviews and tutorials with these. Um, so there are two in here that are not, and now I can't remember which two they are. Oh, that's one. 
I think it's all right, I'm just gonna take the tart ones out because I have these little tart singles. They look exactly like the Sydney Grace shadows. But anyway, so these guys here, I kind of made like a Melanie Topes um, palette for myself and I stuck it in with my Viseart eyeshadows. But I've been using these and I really like them, you guys. Um, are they any type of replacement for Viseart for me or for like Marc Jacobs or anything? No, but they're really good. They're six bucks a pop, so that's a good deal individually obviously however if you're gonna build a palette it's you know it's gonna cost you some money to put together enough to create either a quad or um, a 12 pan it's gonna get kind of spendy but they're really good eyeshadows her pressed pigments are definitely my favorites the mattes that I ordered I feel like are okay where's the mattes these two right here are the mattes I feel like those are okay um, I've definitely been using them but I have better matte shadows, namely my Viseart Grand Pro, but these are really good. If you've never tried anything from Sydney Grace, I would definitely encourage you to order from them. Um, and I just realized I forgot to tell you guys about what I'm wearing on my lips now. So let's get into that really quickly. This is Claire, right? Yep, Claire. And she comes in this amazing little set right here. I was going to take this downstairs to recycle it, but I guess I'll show you. This is the set. It's from Ulta. It's 14 bucks. It's a $32 value. It comes with the full size of the Claire, which is like a strawberry shimmery pink. It's totally not appropriate for this time of year. Uh, so I'm probably going to Put it away until spring and summer but uh claire you need claire if you like dolly you need claire isn't she pretty um no shimmer in claire just a like a cream finish um very similar to dolly and this is like the like lighter even more wearable version of dolly if dolly is too dark for you so um pick this up don't let this pass you by that's a good deal okay and then my fashion thing which is so weird to even show you anything that I wear because I wear just leggings and t-shirts every single day or leggings and sweatshirts okay I invested in a pair of fry boots I believe these are called Veronica don't quote me on that I'll link them down below they're expensive these are not going to be for someone who likes to buy their boots at Target for $29.99 these are couple hundred bucks but the thing is <laughs> I'm gonna have these for a very long time they are leather um, so they are a low boot uh, I have giant man calves and I also have size 10 feet so I am NOT a dainty petite flower some people think I'm like five foot two I'm five foot seven I am a substantial human being um, if you were to meet me in person like I would probably because most of the people that I meet from YouTube are just like these tiny little petite things and I'm like hi like when I go I feel like a giant but anyway I'm not a small individual but um, these boots let's get back to them they're so comfortable you guys I haven't worn them outside yet I've just kind of worn them around the house because I just got them this week um, but I bought these specifically because Craig and I are going to New York City for the Thanksgiving Day Parade without Stella because we're awful parents <laughs> Um, but we're having like a romantic getaway for the two of us the week of Thanksgiving and I wanted some really great boots to wear while we're out and about in New York and um, I saw these and I was like that's it those are them I want these um, they're so comfortable you guys the top is this really soft kind of slouchy leather and I do like the little belt buckle detail up here um, there's another little like belt that goes across the front and a really nice buckle. Um, they're so well made. They're really heavy, but still like comfortable enough to wear. And I do like the chunky little heel. Um, and these are just gonna be great for like every outfit that I ever wear. Um, so I'm excited to start breaking these in. I'm gonna put them out in the garage and I'm actually gonna start wearing them because I do think they're gonna need a little bit of time to like be broken in. Like this is not very flexible yet. So I'm gonna get to work on that. But yeah, it, it, if you're in the market for a new pair of boots and you can't really do a lot of knee high boots because your calves are like a 17 inch circumference like mine. Um, these are great options. You, you can participate in the boot trend without, you know, 
feeling like you have giant man calves. I mean, I have the calves of like a linebacker, you guys. And I, I've come to appreciate them in my old age, but they do make wearing cute, dainty things a little bit difficult. Um, so I have to find workarounds for myself, which is fine. You know, there are worse problems to have. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, that is what I have for you for this week. I think that's, it. yep, that's everything that I brought in here. Um, if you have any questions, uh, put them down below or just say hi or leave an emoji or whatever. I will put links to everything in the description box as always. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.